So, here she is in all of her glory. The first one completed, finished. This is a Sea Dog SD, a bit like a Gibson SG, but better. Yeah, it's come out all right. Frets look really nice, you can see there. They come up really well. String action's all right. I burnt the uh, fret markers rather than put dowel in. I just wanted it to look a bit more rustic. Um, the homemade pickup with the fly curtain magnets and the coil out of the power adapter for something. I did have to bite the bullet and buy a couple of bits. Adjustable bridge which is actually very handy for setting the action. Um, tuners. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's a couple of things that I kind of got wrong. Not dramatically wrong, because I was able to complete it without, um, with the things I got wrong, uh, buggering it up. But hey, it looks really nice. Some wood there off the old wine barrels. And the heel. All the whiskey barrels in there on the sides. I put these in because originally, before I got these, I was going to bring the strings up through here and over a, a normal kind of saddle here, but I decided to go with these. Um, but I'll use this on another model, I think, in the future. It's just the, um, the bit of a rivet. You know, the rivet bits. Take the centre out, drill a hole through, then you put the strings up through there, over your bridge and down the end. So, it sounds, it, it actually sounds really good. Unplugged. <laughs> it's all right. Wait till I turn it on. for a homemade pickup. Inside here, hear that? Two two old clutch springs I got off Roderick at the at the garage, and I've mounted them inside between two bits of wood to give it natural reverb. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? I'm really pleased with that. Ah, the old S dog, C dog, SD, hey. Eh? <laughs>